the cam clamp is basically holding it back in so I can't drop out. Get the domino with the 12 millimeter cutter in it this Dave time. Dave here, how are you? Now I'm standing beside a full size entry door and it's a good 40 millimeters thick by 820 millimeters wide, just over two meters tall. Now this is a solid entry door and it is not a lightweight by any stretch of the imagination. What I've just done is finished making a stationary deadman for the Stanton bench. This thing is being held up by the Stanton bench, nothing else. So stick with me and I will show you how cool this is. Don't believe me? Watch this. There we go. Oh, Jingo, there's there some weight in that thing. I told you, that's all that was holding it. Now this is the skirt or the apron for the Stanton bench. This is my stationary deadman. Now this little guy here is a 20 millimeter dog. Now it can go in any of these positions down here and it will support a lot of weight. You know, we're not talking about tons. We're talking about an ordinary door, an internal door would be fine. Entry doors, depending on what type they are, what type of timber they are. Okay, so down here, the bench maximum depth of support was there on the, on the skirt. And I thought, we can fix that. We can make it better. Now, there's a few things we can do here. We can put a track, another bit of blue track. I could rebate a bit of blue track into there. I could make one for either end. I could have made this whole skirt this depth at the start. That probably would have been pretty easy, but you know this thing's evolved. Okay, so how did I do this? This is the fun part. I'm going to take you through the process. First thing I'm going to do is I'll take it off the bench and you can see just how easy it is. Undo the cam clamp, take off the washer, now I can slide it off. That's it. This comes out as well. There we go. Now this little bit of engineering took me a little while to nut out. Most of the work is being done by this mahogany tenon. Now in the States, I think you guys call this sipper. Now it is locked in to this deadman. Now it's not a sliding deadman, it's a stationary deadman. On Arthur's workbench and all standard workbenches need a deadman to be able to slide along to support pieces of timber that are too big for just being held in the vise. Their vise is a stationary kind of concept. My vise is not a stationary concept. It is a Craig bench clamp that I can put anywhere along the, the face of that skirt that I want. So it's a really very handy thing to have. So the stationary deadman. It's a piece of three quarter inch ply. Again, hoop ply. First thing I did was take the skirt off the Stanton bench. Then I turned the skirt upside down, face down, and um, this underneath it. And I scribed around where the deadman was going to be. I used a roofing square or a large square to make sure that it was going to be pretty close to being perpendicular to the ground and perpendicular to the bench. Okay, now I had that, I cut it out with the jigsaw and spent a little bit of time. Didn't cut right up to the line because I wanted to take it over to the bobbin sander. Now the bobbin sander, you can see me working the right hand side of the drum on the bobbin sander or the right hand side of the bobbin. I should have really been working the left hand side of the bobbin. The thing is with bobbin sanders, they are turning clockwise. So they are going to grab if you put things on the right hand side of the bobbin. It's best to work from the left hand side. So now that I have this beautiful curve here, put it all up together and worked out the length of my cam clamps T-bolt. And here was the question for me. How do I get it so that I can have a tenon and a bolt side by side? Well, what I did was I got the domino and I put the five millimeter cutter in it. Now I use the five millimeter cutter to create the area for the actual T section, the top section of the T bolt, to recess it into the back. I didn't want to come all the way through. I thought, well, I could just cut it out with a jigsaw and be done with it. Maybe a couple of three or four millimeter holes, then join them together with a jigsaw. And then I created an eight millimeter slot as well across from that section with the five millimeter T bolt's head to allow the 5 16th part of the bolt, which is the same as eight millimeters, close enough, 
to come across. And it was a little bit mucking around and I wasn't as neat as I could have been, but I got there. Once I had the bolt on, then I could put the, the clamp on and pull it up tight. And then I could get the domino with the 12 millimeter cutter in it this time and create this tenon that was going to stay in the Deadman, but would be a slip point inside the bench's skirt. So basically it's a, this is a slip tenon in the skirt, but secured to the Deadman. I didn't want anything sitting proud if I wasn't using this with the Stanton bench at any time. So I didn't want a bolt hanging out here. That's something else I could have done if I wanted to. I could have put a brass insert in there, put a bolt in and then cut the head off and then have just an ordinary knob to turn it up to tighten it. But the thing is, if I had a knob there, it has thickness. And I, again, the whole thing with this bench is that it's only three quarters of an inch thick on the, on the skirt and it's not to touch any table behind it. Nothing is to protrude behind or in front. And that's how I did it. This cam clamp, I'll put a picture over here of the cam clamp because it's an amazing little item. It's not even three quarters of an inch wide, not even 19 mil. So you can see I've got a two inch T-bolt and a domino. Now, how do I get the pair of them on there together? It's easy. I've created this rebate around the back here. It's a little recess that's, that I did with the domino. So I can slide this into this hole there and it's sticking out. It's not facing the front. It's still nice and clean at the front. No chance of damaging anything there. And now I can line that up, slide that in like so. How cool is that? And then put a washer on. And the cam clamp. Rotating it at the moment until I th think it's getting close. Well, another turn, I think. What do we reckon? There we go. And pull the cam clamp down. Beautiful. Look at that. That's taking all the weight there. So I can put the dog in at any point. That's in the old bench or in the old skirt. It was only a week or two old. But now it will also go into any of these ones below here. The domino, that slip tenon, is doing all the work. It's doing all of the sheer strength. The cam clamp is basically holding it back in so it can't drop out and also adding to the support by about 1%, if that. Down there if I want to. The Craig bench clamp slides anywhere along this rockler track and I can tighten it up. I hold anything here. Before I was putting tin cans or a garbage bin or a block of wood or something down here to support the, the end that I couldn't hold on to. You just saw how it went holding that solid entry door, didn't you? It's pretty amazing. I could have supported this piece of timber on the Stanton bench, but the thing is the timber would have been up a fair way and then planing, it starts to be a lot of effort. I try and get it down around about elbow height if I can. That's a comfortable height for me to plane. So what we do is first of all, use our brains. I can measure the ply and that's 480 millimeters. And then I can have a look here and come down the side. That's 480 there. So how about I bring it up to that one and that should hold it perfectly. Let's see. Into there and the other end. How good is that? Now, you remember what I said about elbow height? That's pretty good. So now I can plane this. And I'm not exerting myself at all. I'm not working like this above my comfort zone. So do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like my stationary deadman and sliding vice? If you do, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel,
costs you nothing. All that happens is you get a reminder when I put a video up. Ring that little bell down there. Every time I do a video, you'll get a notification. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye. How easy, how easy, how easy.